Uh, we've got some beautiful competitors here that are taking part in the Serious About Fitness uh, competition that's happening this weekend at the Museum of Civilization. Uh, one of uh, the people who's going to be sharing uh, the emceeing duties with me is uh, Bridget Dompierre Gachel, who actually happens to be also a competitor, just not th not this show. You're That's actually right. going to be on the stage with me. And uh, joining us uh, as well with the athletes is uh, one of the judges, uh, Debbie Lauren LeClerc. Great to have you guys here, and Thank thanks you. to all of our competitors. This is a big deal. I mean, they're smiling right now, but it has been a tough couple of months gearing up and getting ready for the show. Definitely. It takes about 12 weeks to get ready for a show on average, and there's pretty much three different aspects. So there's the fitness aspect. So these girls have been in the gym, lifting weights, doing cardio. And then you mix it up with your nutrition, so you want to make sure you have a really clean diet. Uh, previous to the show, you have to lean out. Um, and then there's stage presence. So these girls have been practicing, practicing, practicing for the, for the day. Mm -hmm. so. uh, and there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, and by the time they're on that stage, their bodies are, are completely kind of transformed. They, uh, it's amazing to see the before and the after, uh, mm -hmm. after shots, but their bodies are exhausted at that point. Getting on that stage is one, like that last kind of big challenge that they have. That's right. It's very, very exhausting, but it's very gratifying. So you see a lot of girls, um, you'll, you'll call it an on-season and an off-season. So typically these girls are on right now, so they're pretty much at their best. And uh, over the course of the next few days, they're going to be dehydrating. So you're going to see them even tighter on Saturday. <laughs> Which is, I, I'm always in awe of what happens uh, in those last couple of days. For you then, I mean, these girls have been working um, like incredibly hard. And to our eyes, they just look like fantastic, beautiful, fit bodies. But what are you as a judge looking for that really differentiates them on the stage? Well, for serious about fitness, they have to be healthy and attractive. They fit the bill, mm -hmm. clearly. But then we look uh, for their shape and if they're athletic. So then we evaluate through different poses. We compare them to evaluate their shape to see how well they fit the gym, symmetry and all that. How do you evaluate two very different body types when it comes down to muscle definition? Ooh, is it tough? It is. It's very, very hard because we do have very different physiques that show up mm -hmm. and equally as good, just different. Well, well, you can have someone who's incredibly tall and it just looks really slender and then you can have a, a shorter girl. Like They each have their challenges in the gym and how they're going to show their body. Exactly. But these, we always manage to, to agree and all that. I don't think somebody's more advantage if they're taller or shorter. They, they, that's why they hit the gym, they, they hit their weaker spots, somebody will have to work more on their shoulders and all that. That's what they work on off season. Oh no. Okay, so the, you would call out a pose, so we're going to have the girls so we understand. So what would you guys call out? Well, at first we, they would come to the front line and okay. we would ask them to do their front poses. And they will hit the front poses that's more advantage to them to show a smaller waist, to show their uh, laterals, their lats, that way that gives a smaller waist. We look at the sweep of their uh, legs to see a nice, uh, a nice sweep, muscular def definition, but they still need to look uh, feminine. We so don't. It's amazing, we have four individuals, each of them posed very Different, differently. Yes. Very differently. Okay, so you would see that, and then what else would happen? Well, then we look at their condition, overall condition. So we don't want anybody emaciated or anything. It has to be a positive way. Women have to say, I want to look like that. The women you see in the fitness magazines, mm -hmm. that's what we're looking for. And a lot of them uh, end up in them also. Yes, I've seen a, a number exactly. of these faces in magazines. Okay, so let's do another pose. We'll do the back pose, which are the two more, more uh, common poses because they're evaluated mostly on the front and back poses. So again, we would look at uh, their, uh, their V shape, okay. the back. We would look at the definition of their legs again, of their uh, hamstrings, of their calves and all that. And that's how we would compare them. So they, they're, like, they're, both, they're all hitting poses that's most advantage to them. Mm -hmm. It's made very different poses. We're all shaped again, again. Very different. Right. We're all shaped differently. So. Mm -hmm. And then how hard is it to maintain these poses when they're in complete very they're, they're hard. It's very hard. You have to contract. And like she was saying, so every girl has practiced and pretty much decided on a pose that flatters them the most. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm making them hold it even longer. <laughs> Usually after a competition, the next day you're yeah. sore. If mm -hmm. you did your homework, if you did the, what you were supposed to do, you're sore the next day. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay, you guys can breathe. Thank relax. you. <laughs> uh, okay, so the show gets underway at 11 a.m. on uh, Saturday at the Museum of Civilization, if this is something that interests you. And, of course, with staff, there are so many different programs and training sessions for people who want to get involved. And we also do uh, different uh, camps, so mm -hmm. if you're interested in participating, you can have a look on the website and uh, join us. It's really fun. Perfect. It is. I'll see you on Saturday. Yes, see you Saturday. Best of luck in these last couple of days uh, getting ready. Uh,